everyone, I am Cassandra, your 30-something beauty-loving normal gal, making videos for those of us over the age of 30 here on YouTube, and today is part two of The Empties, and yes, I filmed this at the same time as the other, no, I didn't change my shirt for you, you know it was at the same time. So, let's keep going on The Empties train, we're jumping right in. I finished the Bioderma Micellar Water. Now, I was excited to try this because people rave about this one. Like, it was a big deal when it came to the U.S. I like my Garnier better. So, and it's fine. Once again, if I was somewhere where for some reason they didn't have the travel bottle of Garnier, which like everybody does, but let's pretend and I could only get this, I would get it. It's just, I really like my Garnier. Um... I finished a charcoal sheet mask from Lab Coast. This is how I ended the last video was I did the collagen one. Finished that too. I also finished the charcoal. Lab Coast makes great masks. Buy them at Costco. This I'm finally getting rid of. This was a K Bella set. They sell these at Target, these single-use masks, but you can really get two or three out of it. Um, I only used this side and didn't even finish it. But y'all, this sat on my bathroom counter for like six months. I put things up there as a reminder of, use this, use this. And I never reached for it. So I figure we just let it go at this point, right? <clears throat> this one I was sad to finish, but we're now off trying new things. My Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Can't talk. Concentrate. 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. This is a miracle worker. I love this serum. Um, used it on my forehead. I swear I saw a difference. I do like this. I just wanted to try the Tatcha one, and I'm on that now. But I have been having a hard time doing my evening routine. I need to get in a much better setup for doing my evening routine regularly so that I can see a difference. Okay, I finished it. The Drunk Elephant, oh no I didn't, I had a little bit left. Oh that's right, I finally gave up. So this is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. I think you're supposed to say lippy, not lip. Lippy Balm. Um, this came as just like an extra thing in a set. I have that much left and I didn't think it was that good and I have so many lip balms, including the Kapari one I'm using right now that's great, that I just went, why am I forcing myself to use this when I don't like it? I used enough. I just figured it's worth getting rid of. This I am proud of. This lasted forever. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Y'all, when I first came on YouTube two years ago, so go back to videos from like April, May 2017 beauty videos. There was not a person who did not rave about this in their video. Like, everybody was saying that, oh my gosh, it's the best, the best thing ever. And it's really not my style of primer. I got this for free at VidCon. I ran into the Too Faced girls, still friends with them. They moved on to other companies. Um, I ran into them and they gave, were giving away free things and they gave this to me. So it was like, okay, cool. And they all try that thing that everyone's talking about. And it's nice. I used it all winter. Um... It's not my favorite, but if you have really dry skin, this could be really nice. Um, this could be a good one for you. I also, this is with coconut water. It's silicone free. I love a silicone primer, so just not my thing. But for the price, last forever. Okay, it, it kind of hurts that this one's done. I finished my little Atelier Cologne um, Clementine California. It has a nice citrus scent that I really liked. I finished the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. This is an oil you put on in the morning. There's also the Midnight Recovery one. So they just kind of replenish your skin. This gives a nice glow to your skin for the day. So I did like it. Probably wouldn't repurchase because I'm just not a big, it's an oil. I'm not a big oils person, but it was really nice. Like once again, if it came in a set, I'll use it, but it's just not my thing. I finished another Shiseido Facial Cotton. We all know I love them. Did we all see that they went up in price, but now they're $12 for the pack instead of $10? That's quite the price jump. Um, I 
I'm done with my Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I had bought that set of the three Not Your Mother's uh, dry shampoos so I could try the others. This is the only one I actually like. And it smells like Fruit Loops. Who doesn't want something that smells like Fruit Loops? Okay, that's important. I finished my little Verb Ghost Oil. You know, it's funny. I finished this and I'm like, oh, I need to keep this. Okay, the little bottle. So I finished this. I bought the full size, um, but I'm going to keep the bottle and refill it so I can take it with me when I travel because I love my Verb Ghost Oil. And I also would keep that at work, and there are certain days where it came in, like, real handy during the day, so it might sit at work with me, too. This was the, oh, this was the little 3-in-1 uh, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm from IT. This is the IT Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm. I had a full size of this at 1.2. This was the mini. I like this, and y'all... If you watched my Sephora sale haul video, I now moved on to the pharmacy one. And at first I thought I really liked it. And now I would say it's just okay. I don't think the pharmacy cleansing balm is lifting everything the way that it and the Clinique do. They, those are the best two so far. I've tried a couple different ones or makeup oil, makeup oils. Those two cleansing balms are my favorite step one in a two cleanse process. Just saying. Okay, y'all, this is really nice. This Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for All Day Moisturizer. Really, really nice. Um, I really liked this. And this little one lasted quite a few weeks. A little goes a long way. I was impressed by this. This Clinique Moisture Charge Hydrating Supercharge Concentrate. It was like a moisturizer. It's a gel. It's impressive. It. I thought it would start to feel like too much. It doesn't. It, it dries in quickly, but you do feel moisturized. Um, I would consider getting this. This was good. Did I just not like this? Did this accidentally go in here? Oh, no, I don't like that. Okay, two perfumes I'm getting rid of because I just don't like the way they smell. The Mugle, Eau de Toilette, and the La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. This does not smell like pure vanilla. There's like a muskiness to this. I'm not a fan. Okay, the It Miracle Water, it's a three-in-one tonic. It's a little bottle. This came in a little 500-point set that I had. Same with the cleansing balm. Skin, bra skin Brightening Radiance Booster Anti-Aging Treatment Essence Skin Softing Micellar Water. I, and I don't think the full size is worth the price tag. I didn't see, like, crazy differences. And I feel like I tried a slightly larger bottle of this before and said same. So not repurchasing. Okay, Trish McAvoy. This is the mascara that came in that Trish McAvoy set that I got, which by the way, I think the eye stuff, like the eye, the two-step eye serum and lotion with retinol is totally working. This is the lash curling mascara. There's also a lengthening one, so I got them confused. This was fine. This is a very natural look to mascara. It was fine. It's not what I like. I think the one I actually like is the lengthening, not the curling. So I finished it, but I would try lengthening instead of curling. A mascara I just totally got rid of is the MAC in Extreme Dimension Lash. I tried it once. This was a sample from a long time ago, and I think it dried out. So it's gone. I finished my Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover. Y'all, I am down to just, just the Sephora Eye Makeup Remover full size. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I do have the travel size of it in my travel bag, but that just stays there. So like of what's out and around, I'm on the last one. Very proud. So finish that great eye makeup remover. I like the Sephora one better. Okay, the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. This was, you can kind of tell in there, this is a purple mask. It's clearly made for Instagram. It was nice. Um, brightening Beauty Berry and Dual Vitamin C for all skin types. It's nice. I didn't see, like, giant changes. The Charlotte Tilbury Clay one I liked better. I finished one bottle, and I'm almost done with my next one, of my L'Oreal Pro Matte. Uh, foundation. 
One of them was already, this one was almost gone already, so that's why they're both almost done around the same time, but this is my favorite foundation of all time. <clears throat> I finished another Atelier Cologne Vanilla Incense. Uh, I really like this scent. It's vanilla with like a lot of warmth behind it. I would repurchase this. I really like Atelier Colognes. I am becoming a big fan. I finished my little bottle of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian for Play body wash and then in my new FabFitFun, which I know I didn't make a video for, there just wasn't time and I wanted to start putting everything away and using it, um, it came with a full-size bottle. So I'm currently using the full-size. This smells great. If you love the way the lotion smells, you'll love the way this smells. Oh, another Hangover RX thing. This is the 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I finished that. It's just not my setting spray. I, I don't love this one as much as Urban Decay. Nothing beats Urban Decay. Here's the thing. It's what you want out of a setting spray. Like MAC Fix Plus I like because it really does kind of melt and set in all your makeup and make it all like go together, which is fascinating. Urban Decay All Nighter does last all night. So... It just, it's what you want. The Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I did like this. I still just don't understand the price of a full size. This came in a set. I like it. I'll use it when I get things like that, but it's not where I'm spending my money. Things are falling around. Okay. I finished the Perfect Hair Day Nightcap. Nightcap? Nightcap Overnight Perfector. I wouldn't use this again. I don't really understand the point. It's a pain. You have to wet your hair at night, then put this stuff in, then sleep in it, then wash it in the morning. Too many steps. Not doing it. Um, I finished this more Pacific Youth Revolution, Revolution Radiance Concentrator. I don't understand the point. Didn't do anything for me. Okay. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This came in that little lash mascara set I got from Sephora where you get to go get it full size at the end. Um, I like lights, camera, lashes. This is so small, it was like a week's worth of use. But I do like the main one. It might be what I end up buying. I'm not sure. Okay, more perfume. Per you guys, I can't talk. So the Carolina Herrera Good Girl, I did finish. I wouldn't buy it, but it was interesting. The Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede, not my thing, just getting rid of it. And then the Dior Show Mascara, this I think had dried out. This was just one I had as a sample from something. It dried out. I didn't love it, so it's going away. And then last, RIP, I do love this, the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texturizing Spray. I am a big fan of this. Um, I would buy this again. This is my favorite texturizing spray. But it's so expensive. I had bought this for trips. That's why it's the travel size. The full size is so expensive. I feel like you go through it fast. So I want to go try the Kristen S brand at Target has a texturizing spray. So I'm going to go try that one. We'll see how that goes. So that is it. These are just like little papers from things that fell. Uh, we've reached the bottom. Do you like how things have like stained it over time? But I just keep using the same box. We've reached the bottom. That is all of my empties for the last two months, I think. Um, please let me know in the comments what you emptied this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you like empties videos. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!